<laughs> oh, I can't do accents. Like, can you teach me how to do a British accent? I have no idea how to do it. Um, accents? See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've, I've been doing accents for as long as I can remember, and I don't think I really have the... The the the, the uh, like the knowledge to actually teach anyone how to do it, like the like science it, of it? It, it. I really don't understand the science of how to actually interpret an accent. I think the best thing you can do is just listen to someone who speaks like that, and like sort of just sort of try and practice. I used to do it a lot, like quite a few years ago when I didn't have, um, you know, before I before I sort of re-entered the spotlight, as it were. I used to sort of entertain myself by trying to like mimic people and bully them a little bit and when I did that it uh I, it sort of came quite naturally to me but I don't think I really have what it takes to teach people how to do various different accents I mean if you want to sound American you've just got to kind of you know it's a big part of it is the R so instead of saying ah you'd say R but you know I guess sound a, sound a little more like a pirate if you want to be American but I don't know that that doesn't really help Hmm. Yeah, the, the, the times I've actually tried, I'm just mimicking what I've actually heard. I mean, but there's something about, like, my muscle memory not knowing how to shape certain sounds, and it just ends up sounding like, <laughs> like I've hit my head really hard. Yeah. And especially taking T's out. And, like, I don't know where to take the T's out and where to keep them. That's also really difficult. So you wouldn't you wouldn't take the T's out um, on the beginning of a word or when you um, or when you say the letter T out loud. Um, so it's sort of in the middle. So in a word like bot o, you know, as as our beloved Mister mm. likes to say, bot o, that's <laughs> when you take one out. Um, so um, in the same the same with the word little, a little little, little bit. But it's also um, now that I'm realizing it's the latter. If a word ends in T, you would kind of cut that T out as well. Mm. Um, so uh, I saw someone in the chat say British people aren't real. Uh, you're correct. Uh, Mr. is actually a figment of your imagination. <laughs> Shu just said, Miss A. Uh. Miss A. Uh. I, I, I don't, I think that's a T that should be kept. I think that's a T that should be kept. See, this is why it's, um, this is why it's confusing. This is why it's very confusing. Maybe it's, Maybe it's with the little, um, little, when, when you have to double up a T. But then, of course, British. You know, that only has one T. British. Mm. Perhaps you wouldn't remove the T if there's a vowel at the end. If a word mm. ends in a vowel, you'd keep the T, because then the word... But then, of course, if a word ends in a T, you'd... Oh, my goodness, that is weird, isn't it? You see, it's, it's the inconsistencies that messes me up. <laughs> Can you speak a little more Cockney accent, please? I, I can't really control that. My accent right now is... <clears throat> I think I've pretty much like let go of my... My fake accent. This is my real accent right now. I used to be more Cockney when I was younger, though. I've spoke so much in like a mixed accent to where this is now my natural accent. Um... So, I, I don't know. I don't know how I could talk more in it. Hello. Hello, mate. How's it going? Yo. Fucking it. No, no, he doesn't know fucking. I don't know how to speak in a cockney accent because I normally speak in it anyway. I don't know. See you later, moderator. Thank you for being here. Yeah. My. I can speak in a posher accent. Like. Hi, guys. Oh, hello, guys. Welcome to the stream. I am the posh boy today. Yes, 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 yes. I am going to have a lovely little sip of my um, sex on the beach cocktail. Hmm, that is quite delicious, indeed. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> ah, so, hello, mate. Nice to meet you. Yeah, see, if I wanted to speak more posh, I would say, nice to meet you. But if I speak normally, I say, nice to meet you. Like, chew. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you see the difference in scuffness? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> chew! Chew! Yes. 
Posh Mr. Scares Me. <laughs> That's what I'm like when I'm in an interview chat. I speak like that. If I'm like in going for an interview and a job, I, I speak posh because it's more professional. <clears throat> like, yes, could, um, could I bother you for a glass of water, please? Wanna see Posh Mr. vs. Cockney Box? Yeah, that'll be good, actually. <laughs> yeah, l let me do a comparison. You would be like, <clears throat> um, could I please have a glass of water, please? Or could I please have, <laughs> please, could I please have a glass of water? Could I please have a glass of water? And could I please have a glass of water? There's like a very big difference between the accents. <laughs> da -na 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 -da. Water. Can I please get a waffle? 